So guys, in the name of protecting international students inside Canada, IRCC, which is the Immigration Department of Canada, has made three significant changes to the international study program. This particular change or these changes are here in the end of uh, the year 2023 and will directly impact your life if you are studying in Canada or even if you are planning to study in Canada in the coming few months or years. So guys, if you want to know, please be sure to stick around till the end. My name is Sahil. Guys, welcome back once again. My name is Sahil and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I practice here in Ontario. My office is here. If you have to get in touch with me, my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box. More than happy to connect with you. Before we proceed any further, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we talk a lot about Canadian immigration. And if you are an aspirant of moving to Canada, and this is a channel that you must be subscribed to all the time. So guys, December 7th, 2023 was a not so... Uh, favorable but an eventful day with regards to international students and the Immigration Department of Canada. So Honorable Mark Miller, who is the Immigration Minister of Canada, he came out in a press release and he was addressing the public through a conference and he declared three significant changes to the international study program and these particular changes may or may not be so, you know, uh, appraised or may, may not be so liked by the international student community but still these changes are here to stay out for long and will directly impact you know thousands and hundreds and thousands of applicants worldwide. So guys the first biggest change is with regards to the cost of living in Canada. Now in the uh, in the early years of 2000 IRCC had set this amount to almost $10,000 looking at the cost of living in Canada and ever since this particular amount has been set where all the international study permit applicants are expected to show this amount in their bank accounts and then initiate an application for a study permit. Guys, ever since those particular years, this amount has never been revised. And this is the particular uh, information that has been given by Mark Miller, who is the Immigration Minister, saying that since this amount has not been revised and the cost of living in Canada has gone up considerably, including housing, rental prices, food, you know, living, accommodation, whatsoever, the transportation, infrastructure. Therefore, IRCC has to change this particular amount from 10,000 to a whopping almost double, which is $20,635 in the year 2024. Guys, you heard that, right? Starting January the 1st, 2024, all international study permit applicants are required to show this particular amount of $20,635 in their bank accounts that means these guys should have these applicants should have direct access to this particular amount in addition to the first year fees and the travel cost now if you put all of this together so basically you know these living expenses of twenty thousand dollars six hundred thirty five dollars is is what you normally show in the gic okay so up until you know 31st of december the gic would have been kept at ten thousand dollars only but starting you know the the first of january 2024 this amount will go double the gic will go double now the average fees of um, you know an international college year or a dli is approximately about 18 000, 17 to 18 thousand dollars barring the lower end colleges or the higher end colleges of british columbia but an average expense that you're looking at is about 16 to 17 there is news in the market that these particular average expenses will also go up because the IRCC is forcing the provinces and you know eventually the DLIs to make changes, provide support, settlement support, accommodation, housing to arrange for all of that around the campuses and their direct approval rates will be linked or probably their seats will be linked to the accommodations and the services that these DLI will provide. Okay, so these you know the Average fees of these DLIs is also expected to go in the near future. So approximately, if you are an applicant from India who is willing to undergo the SDS route, $20,635 worth of GIC plus first year of fees, which could approximately be about $20,000 plus you should have a travel cost. Now, flights to Canada are expensive. Initial settlement is expensive. Looking at a ballpark fig figure of approximately 10 lakhs, 12 lakhs, which is another 20, $20,000 plus access to the second year fees or the third year fees, wherever you're going to get. So the overall study permit program has gone up from, 
you know approximately 40 45000 dollars to a whopping 60 65000 dollars overnight this was the biggest announcement that IRCC made on December the 7th 2023 not only that IRCC says that this particular amount the minimum you know living standard or the lico as they call it low income cut off is going to be linked to directly the revision that CRA would be or the stats canada would be making every year so this particular amount is set to change every year as in when stats canada gives out the numbers and as in when canada makes changes to their lico cut off so this particular gic amount will keep on growing in the years to come so that's the first part of sad news or probably a good news because this is the way when international students in canada will a be safeguarded from the increased cost of accommodation there has been news recently in the market that food banks of for example brampton have been overloaded or the banks have gone you know the food banks have gone empty or they've shut their doors because a lot of international students were flocking around those food banks so this way students will have access to more funds and then they will be able to spend more time on studies and be comfortable in food you know lodging or anything that they may want help with so overall i think it's a decent enough change yes from 10000 to a double is going to be big um so i'm sure people will have to plan for more funds come to think of it studying in the us was also never cheap <laughs> studying in uk was also never cheap right so suddenly the cost of studies in and studies in canada were also not cheap so the cost of studies in terms of planning of financial you know the financial part of it students or parents back home will have to account for approximately 10 to 20000 dollars more than they what they used to do that before so the second biggest announcement of the day was basically waiver of the 20 hour uh, per week limit now historically international students in canada while they were studying while they were enrolled and their classes were going on were always set to a limit of 20 hours per week but uh, round about you know a couple of months back ircc had given out uh, a temporary public policy where they waived this this limitation of 20 hours that means students could work more now when they are saying more that should not be the only thing that they should be doing they clearly said that students should be laying equal focus on the time of their education and also the uh, 20 hour more the more than 20 hour you know limit the waiver that was given and then they were uh, you know looking at the studies doing some you know feedback to make sure that whether this would be made permanent or you know they would want to extend it come today ircc has said that they are continuing this waiver up until april the 30th 2024 that means students do not temporarily have that work limit of 20 hours uh, you know working off campus so they can continue to work as much as they want so that's the second part of news and that's a good news because a lot of students are relying on this money in order to make a living in canada the third biggest part and the most disastrous news for a lot of students i'm sure because a lot of students were hoping and banking upon this was the 18 month work uh, permit extension now guys during covid or rather after covid ircc had at multiple occasions like three occasions announced an 18 month extension to work pgwp which is a post graduate work permit holders so overall pgwp by itself by the nature of the work permit or the policy is a permit that can never be extended a pgwp is a one time policy is a one time credit that is given to students based on the number of years that they study or the hours that they study and the ircc has always been clear that the pgwp will never be renewed or extended it's given only once in a lifetime and that's about it but after covid looking at the results or the you know the disastrous impact of covid IRCC gave three consecutive approvals and you know public policy where they said okay since students have been affected by covid there were layoffs mass layoffs and everything we would allow an 18 month extension to the PGWP where students can find more work they did that uh, you know they were they were given this temporary public policy and a lot of students made use of it while they could apply for their PR this was 2020 uh, you know the last policy was active up until the 31st of december 2023 which is just about 15 days from today now since this policy was set to expire students were expecting that next year also ircc would renew this policy as expected by everybody right 
but IRCC to everybody's expectations in terms of the RCIC you know fraternity we all knew that this was never going to be permanent because you know one day or the other these public policies have to come to an end because they are called temporary public policies for a reason just like TR to PR pathway or maybe CEC only draws or stuff like that these are temporary public policies you should never bank upon them forever so IRCC in this recent announcement said that this particular extension is done no more extensions no more 18 month extensions for people so if your PGWP is expiring in 2024 early late whenever that's about it find an alternate way do whatever you want to do in terms of LMIA extension study permit whatever you want to do but no more work permit extension for you it's either you change your status or you go back to your home country IRCC says that's done right so guys these were the three biggest announcements with regards to students international study program inside Canada by the Honorable Mark Miller who is the Immigration Minister of Canada the Immigration Department has of lately been affected by the negative publicity with regards to housing crisis and you know the inflation the cost of living going up and everything and overall as a government liberal government has been taking steps which you know includes these particular steps as well where they say they are trying to protect the international students and I believe that as well because um, the, as, as Mark Miller says that you know what is the point in inviting international students when the communities or the cities here cannot accommodate them so that is why the immigration minister or the central government or the federal government has been putting pressure on the provinces in turn on the DLIs to make necessary arrangements of housing, work, accommodation in and around the DLI so that there is no negative impact in the communities around. So ultimately the DLIs will be required to make certain changes and it will be you know beneficial for the international students. So obviously some short time of you know this delay or this unrest is expected but ultimately it will lead to a good path in the future. Guys, I hope the news was useful, gave you much insights into what's happening in the world of Canadian immigration. If you have any doubts, if you want to discuss anything with regards to your candidature, please feel free to schedule a consultation with us. We would be more than happy to speak with you. Once again, we wish you all the best and we really hope to see you soon in Canada. All the best.